the mother. The holy mother of all the mothers in the yeah. whole motherland. What up, y'all? It's April G Showers. Back at y'all with a reaction. We got Juice World R.I.P. Rich and Blind. I do have the lyrics video pulled up. There is no music video for this. I apologize for the stupid sign that y'all see on your screen. I have to do that when I'm live and I'm reacting to a song that's copyrighted or could be copyrighted because YouTube is stupid. So I do apologize for that. This was requested by Andy Wardano. Thank you so much, Andy. Appreciate you. As always, I will provide the link in the description box if y'all want to go check it out after my reaction it's three minutes and 48 seconds all right y'all april g squad fist bump love y'all let's get it <laughs> Fine, fine. Say they wanna read my mind. They really wanna read my mind. Telling you right now, all you'll find is a lost soul, rich and blind. They say you wanna read my mind. Do you really wanna read my mind? I promise all that you will find is a lost soul, rich and blind. I know I have a purpose, but I don't see the purpose. They tell me. So sad, bruh. All these songs he made. Did nobody else hear these songs of this guy crying out for help? He said, I know I have a purpose, but I don't see the purpose. They tell me the death of me gonna be the perkies. That's Percocet and opiate painkiller. Pain pill. I know they laced pills. I bought them on purpose. Because these days, unfortunately, a lot of people lace pills with fentanyl and things of that nature which will kill you like that it don't take but just a little dab of fentanyl to kill you i'm allergic to fentanyl thank god when i was hooked on pain pills that shit wasn't a thing like we didn't have to worry about laced pills when i was hooked on pain pills real bad don't be the perk. I know they lace pills. I bought them on purpose. Life's unreal and death's uncertain. It's funny how the blessed ones had the most curse. Heart falling to the floor if we lose another. Life's unreal and death's uncertain. It's funny how the blessed ones have the most curses. I say this in a lot of my reactions. The devil is not going to attack the people he knows he already has. What's the point? He knows he already has them. He's going to attack the people with the most faith, the people who believe in God and things of that nature. Because his whole MO is to get us to lose our faith and turn our backs on God. So when I'm being attacked by the devil, and whatever that may look like, it could be financially, it could be health-wise, it could be losing a loved one, it could be a number of things. I remind myself, this is the devil attacking me. And the reason the devil attacks the blessed ones more and it seems like the blessed ones have the most curses, like Juice World is saying, is because he wants us to blame God 
turn our backs on God, lose our faith. That's his whole M.O. So when you're being attacked, just know that that means that you're doing something right. Otherwise, you wouldn't be being attacked. That's the way I look at it. I bought them on purpose Life's unreal and death's uncertain It's funny how the blessed ones had the most curse Heart falling to the floor if we lose another person Take three more, I swear it's worth it But it ain't no world tour if I'm laying in a hearse I remember losing Lil Bro, you laying in the dirt Now I'm bound to drop a tear or two on every single verse Good turns, bad turns, when they die it's the worst Sometimes when I'm high, I feel high in reverse he says, sometimes when I'm high, I feel high in reverse. Damn. When they die, it's the worst. Sometimes when I'm high, I feel high in reverse. I ain't going out like that. You fuck with me, you get the worst. You ain't gonna see me in no wooden box. I'm gonna shoot them first. I promise y'all I'm finna touch the world. Yeah, I'm a touch. Bro, this is sad, bro. He said, I ain't going out like that. You fuck with me, you get the work. You ain't gonna see me in no wooden box. I'm gonna shoot them first. I promise y'all, I'm finna touch the world. Yeah, I'ma touch the earth. And the crazy thing is, is even though, sadly, Juice World is no longer with us, R.I.P. He's still doing what he says right here. Touching the world and touching the earth with his music and his lyrics. I feel high in reverse. I ain't going out like that. You fuck with me, you get the word. You ain't gonna see me in no wooden box. I'm gonna shoot him first. I promise y'all I'm finna touch the world. Yeah, I'ma touch the earth. But hold on, yo girl on my line. I think I may just fuck her first. Gotta have some cruel humor just to keep a good vibe going. Keep the song grooving. So I'm my money longer. Shout out, bro. Keep my eyes on the sky because that's where I'm moving. That's crazy. That's crazy that he said that. Just to keep a good vibe going, keep the song grooving. So I'm my money longer. Shout out, bro. Keep my eyes in the sky because that's where I'm moving. Say they want to read my mind. They really want to read my mind. Telling you right now, all you'll find is a lost soul, rich and blind. They say you wanna read my mind Do you really wanna read my mind? I promise all that you will find Is a lost soul, rich and blind Is a lost soul, rich and blind Blind, 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 blind This is dedicated to you if you felt the lowest of the low I know how it feels, you don't wanna struggle Bruh, I'm trying to keep my shit together here. This is dedicated to you if you felt the lowest of the low. I know how it feels. You don't want to struggle anymore. Used to ball hard. Ain't no triple doubles anymore. Damn. Fine, fine, fine. This is dedicated to you if you felt the lowest of the low. We die in three like musketeers. The three musketeers. And it is true, people do die in threes. I worked night shift as a nurse for many, 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 many years. And it is so true and it's weird. It's crazy how that works. But it's true, people do die in threes. It's very true. Turned around and faced my fears. I haven't felt this low in years. We dying through like musketeers. Ain't too many real niggas left in here. I repeat all my peers. Smoking loud pack. What you say? I can't hear. But I still hear the fallen ones in my ears. Why, why do we live to die, die? When it's my time, time, time. I'll leave behind my end, my 13 reasons why. Say they wanna read my mind. They really Blah.
sad because, you know, it just shows, like, addiction does not discriminate. Alcoholism does not discriminate. To me, it's the same thing because alcohol is a drug. A drug is a drug is a drug is a drug is a drug, period. And it could be you. It could be someone you love. It could be people you would never even imagine struggling in active addiction and or alcoholism right now. Addiction does not discriminate. It don't matter who you are, your race, your gender, your age, your profession, your financial status. None of that shit matters. And only one in four addicts make it. One in four. 25%. And 98 percent relapse within the first three years unfortunately i've been on both sides i've been the addict and i've been the loved one of many addicts alcoholics and neither one of them is fun now addiction if you're the addict the alcoholic it starts out as fun And what I teach my son, I've taught my son all about addiction. He knows my history. He knows I'm in recovery. He's been to NA meetings with me, Narcotics Anonymous meetings. He's been to those with me. I've worked all 12 steps of NA with a sponsor. And I teach my son, you don't know you're an addict or an alcoholic unless you do it so don't do it it's not worth the risk and i just hope and pray my son that's one of my biggest fears is my son becoming an addict alcoholic it's one of my biggest fears and i'm very grateful that i went and got help and went to rehab in 2011 when he was three almost four i missed his fourth birthday because i was in rehab but he did get to come visit me visiting days were every sunday from 2 p.m to 4 p.m i went to bradford in warrior alabama that's the rehab i went to it's an amazing rehab and it's one of the top rehabs in america and i am very blessed to have gone there they taught me a lot about addiction alcoholism and more importantly they taught me a lot about myself and i'm grateful that i got clean when my son was still young which i would never one of them addicts that like just uh, like that kind of addict like the pain pills gave me energy and gave me like motivation to get up and get shit done that's what they did for me so i'm just grateful he never had to witness any of that none of it i'm very grateful for that and it's thanks to god number one and eminem's album recovery number two that album came out in 2010 and i listened to that album from front to back no skips on repeat for damn near a year or more and had i never heard that album I would still be high today or dead. And I know that for a fact. But on August the 8th, 8-8, I'll celebrate 12 years clean. Woo! Woo! And we gonna partay on that day as long as life allows. But R.I.P. Juice World, this song was absolutely heartbreakingly beautiful and i hope this song touches people like it touched me i think it's a beautiful beautiful song and very bittersweet you know what i mean absolutely beautiful 
heartbreakingly beautiful so yeah that's my thoughts on it y'all comment below y'all's thoughts can any of y'all relate to this song did this song help anybody out there what did y'all think of the lyrics the message my reaction be real be respectful please but be real Thank you once again, Andy Wardano, for requesting this. Appreciate you. The link is in the description box if y'all want to go check it out. Please like this video on your way out. A lot more important than you think. And don't ever forget, you are never, ever too lost to be saved. And we do recover. Don't forget that. And it's nothing wrong with asking for help if you need it. That's a sign of strength, not a sign of weakness. Don't ever forget that. But please like this video on your way out. And please subscribe to my channel, y'all. Alright, y'all. April G. Squad. Fist bump. Love y'all. And I'll see y'all in just a little bit. Peace out.